Okay, gentlemen, let's build a knife. First thing you're going to need is a blade. Second thing you're going to need is a brass rod. This goes through the blade and through the handle. I have a fancy one here, too. Now, you can use stainless bolts or anything you want, but I'm just using brass rod today. Handle material. You can use bone, antler, plastic. I have it made out of everything. This here, I'm going with just straight old mesquite. I had a piece of uh, old bull mesquite that I picked up when I was a kid that we've been using for a doorstop uh, from a hunting trip that I took with my dad and my brother when we were kids, and so I just cut that mesquite up and made these handles. Two ton epoxy. Okay, you have to have this. That's what you need. Right there. First thing you want to do, Sammy safety. Just run tape down your blade. You want to cover up that sharp edge because you do not want any cuts to your fingers when you're making your blade. Plus you want to cut, you see how nice and shiny that is? You also want to protect that finish. Okay, what you want to do now is mark where you're going to drill your holes. Now you can clamp the blade to the piece of wood and drill straight through the blade and go into the wood or you can do what I'm going to do which is mark the holes real clearly and be extremely careful and drill the holes. Okay, what I've done is put those two sides of the handle in a vise. And then now I'm going to drill through both handles at the same time. This way everything will be a matched set. You have to be extremely careful here because if you're off by just a millimeter, your pin will not go through. And then you'll have to waller out the hole and then it just won't look, as, it won't be as tight as how you really want it. Now what you have to remember is you have to use the same drill bit size that matches your pin size. And it has to be an exact match. The other thing you want to remember is if you do not have a drill press, I would recommend putting the blade to the handle, clamping it, and drilling it freehand that way. Because you need the precision of a drill press to do it the way I'm doing it. Now I've changed drill bits and I'm going to drill the lanyard hole now. Word of advice, drill slowly through the wood so that you don't crack it in any way, shape, or form. Okay, as you can see, I have the two pieces on here now. And I have the rod put through there. And since this is brass, I'm just going to cut it that like that. That's how I get my length for the rod, the pins that are going through the handles. Don't cut them too long because you're going to have to grind those off anyway. As you can tell, I drilled my holes correctly. And all these pins are extremely tight. So I did a good job there. And then I have my lanyard hole as you can see right here. Now I would suggest before you install the handle, you want to take some sandpaper and Scratch up the surface on this handle part. Just make sure it's real clean. And what this will do is it'll actually help the epoxy bond to the metal and the handle. And you'll never have a loose handle. Okay, you're going to mix up your epoxy now. This epoxy here is a 50 50 blend. They also sell this in like a large. Uh, syringes that's kind of like pre-measured but I've always just done it like this kind of guesstimate the hell out of it and then you gotta mix it it looks like that hopefully it stays on the paper there you all now you apply it to your handles I've got this all mixed it's kind of messy of course I'm not using the best tools in the world here but I'm not really sweating it I'm just want to get it on there
same things get your mix right and smear it get it all down in them holes for sure this wood so dry it's gonna suck this stuff up like you know like a kid eats a cake and I'm real sloppy with this anyway because you're gonna sand it all off anyway what you want to do too is you want to also get it on on the blade itself That's the messy part. You're going to sandwich your blade in here. As you can see I'm sweating my ass off because, well, you know the answer to that. So it's hotter than hell. Squeeze that through. Through the handle here. Like I said, there's no missing here, so you got to be right on the money. There it is. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of these pins in, these other two pins. And make sure you squeeze a bunch of that epoxy down these holes. Because you want that epoxy to bond to the pin and pond all the way through the blades. So don't be shy with that crap. That's how tight you want it. Now that, right there, that's how tight you want it. Got my pins through the handles, through the blade and everything. That's a mess. Now I'm going to wipe off this excess, put a couple of clamps on it, and then I'm going to let it set up for 24 hours. Okay, y'all, I've applied all my clamps. As you can see, squeezed out the excess epoxy. I've wiped that off. It's actually starting to look like a knife. Now, whatever your skill set is or the material you have access to, you know, basically will determine what kind of knife you have. Now, I'm not real fancy, so that's like I said, I went with the uh, mesquite. And the material in this is actually what I'm actually after. It's not you know it's the memory of the hunt <laughs> basically so that's what I'm going for okay gentlemen what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this into the house and let it cure inside uh, I got lower humidity in the house of course it's also about 30 degrees cooler because right now it's about 95 degrees and I want it to cure properly and then you know I've read the directions believe it or not on the epoxy so I want it to do the best bonding it actually can so that's why I'm going to move it in the house, and we'll finish this up tomorrow.